Hi, my name is Pascal Leroux. I'm based at University of Montreal. When we do social scientific field work, we are sometimes struck by the way interviewees explain what they do. And here's one quote that captures very well what my colleagues and I sought to elucidate. I always say that we are using our powers for good. We are not using our powers for evil. That's all good. For this clinician, using the powers of a corporate entity, an academic spin-off, to design a new medical technology that will benefit patients is pervaded with morally positive intentions. It is seen as contributing to the common good. Yet, to attract capital investment and prove successful, academic spin-offs must rapidly establish themselves as promising businesses. We thus wondered how do technology developers ponder and act upon such health and wealth-related concerns? And to tackle this question, we draw on the sociology of judgment by the work of Boltensky and Tevno, which seeks to shed light on moral judgments in action. This figure offers a schematic representation of what we found. Relying on health-oriented principles, technology developers sought to empower clinicians, and they strongly believed that they were working for the patient's good. Relying on wealth-oriented principles, they were equally committed to increase productivity within healthcare, and they also adopted market-oriented justifications when choosing which good to trade during the process. That refers to how they allocate their time and resources so as to speed up commercialization. When taken together, these four regimes of engagement do necessitate some form of compromise, but they are not seen as contradictory in practice. I believe this paper had to be written because when examining policies that promote cooperation between academics and industry, researchers have tend to adopt either a promotional or critical stance. Instead, our framework refocuses the attention on the moral economy in which technology developers operate. On the one hand, our study shows that their economic appraisals are neither entirely rational nor politically neutral. On the other hand, our study shows that their judgments and the corporate activities they engage in are by and large driven by the pursuit of economic growth. Thus, ultimately what matters from a societal standpoint may not be the balancing of the commercial trade-offs made during the process, but the ways in which the normative logics at play in fact too easily reconcile goals that are distinct, health and wealth, without asking first what healthcare needs should be addressed. I hope this paper raises your interest, and I'd be delighted to hear about your reactions.